Okay, let's go over this question with, uh, with the question giving us that there's a tank with a rectangular base. Uh, it's open at the top. It's to be constructed so that its width is 4 meters and its volume is 36 cubic meters. If building a tank costs $10 per square meter for the base and $5, meter, $5 per square meter for the sides, what is the cost of the least expensive tank? What is uh, What are its dimensions? So based on the question, okay, again, like I always say, that you will just go ahead and write down anything that's uh, obvious from the question. So there's something really obvious from the question, which would be that uh, that it is 36 cubic meters. Okay, so I'm going to uh, write it down. Uh, so the volume is 36 cubic meters, and the way we calculate volume, and I have a diagram on the right, it is its width is four. Uh, the length is length, uh, labeled as L, and the uh, height is H, uh, labeled as well, 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 the height is H. So the volume is going to be four times H times L. Okay, that's something we can extract from the question. Uh, without uh, spending too much thought about it, and um, and the other thing, uh, other things that we can actually come up with is that um, uh, we can also think about the cost. Now, the way we think about the cost is this: the uh, the cost it's uh, separated into two parts because we have the we have the uh, we have the base and we have the sides. So uh, some fundamental concept about the cost is that okay. So we have the uh, cost. Well, this will be the total cost, and this will be the cost of the base. Okay, plus the cost of the sides. Okay. So we have to use these two costs. Uh, these two costs. I'm sorry. These two costs and. Uh, and, um, and how do we calculate these costs? So we have a per unit price. The base is $10 per square meter. So what it means is that we will need to have the area of the base in order to calculate the cost of the base. So, so this is very important, okay? And so on the side right here, I am going to start writing my base area, okay, right here. And my base area, it's a rectangle, it's four times L, so I'm gonna write four times L right there. And so, when I put the total cost of the base, uh, it will be $10 per, per square meter, and uh, it's gonna multiply the area of the, uh, of the base, which is 4L, okay? And so, off the sides, we have, uh, we have the side area, and one thing that we realize is that there are uh, like on this face of the side, it is four times H, uh, and there are two of them, okay? And then on the other two sides, we have uh, H times L, there are two of them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I will go ahead and uh, put down side area, and it's gonna be two times four H plus two times uh, HL. So that would give you 8H plus 2HL. And I'm gonna put this into the uh, total cost calculation. So I will have $5 per square meter times the area of the side, which is 8H plus 2HL, okay? Now what we can do here is to simplify the uh, cost equation a little bit, which is uh, going to be a 40L plus uh, 40H plus 10HL, okay? So we're good, so we have a cost equation which is 40L plus 40H and uh, plus 10HL. Now the problem, the problem is this. The problem is that as we are going to uh, uh, walk forward to make our graph and uh, we're trying to uh, put the equation into our calculator, there's a problem. Uh, the y-axis is going to be our cost because that's our function, but we can only have one variable in the bottom and it can only be h or l. Okay, so uh, which one do we want to have? Okay, in this case, 
Well, it doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. So you can pick whether you want to see H or you want to see L. Now I'm going to have a little preference for myself and I am going to uh, say that I want to see H more uh, often Okay, in this uh, problem. So what I would do is that I will uh, go ahead and make use of this. Uh, make use of this equation, 36 is equal to 4HL. I'm going to solve for L so that I can see more H. So uh, to solve for L, I will simply do 36 divided by 4H, which is the same thing as 9 over H. So what I would do is uh, that all the L's that I see in the cost equation, it will be replaced by uh, 9 over H. So 40 times 9 over H plus 40H plus 10H times 9 over H. And in this case, we will uh, be able to simplify the equation a little bit. Uh, 360 divided by H plus 40H plus, um, in this case, uh, 90. Okay? Now, if, uh, so again, this is the the equation for total cost, the cost is function, and for my y, uh, for my x-axis, it will be labeled as h. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, what I what I'm going to do next is that I am going to uh, input this into my calculator, and my graph that I would anticipate to see, since we are looking for the least expensive tank. So I'm going to say that uh, without much of uh, my knowledge of the graph, I am anticipating something like this, and I'm going to find the minimum like this, okay? So uh, what would it be? Uh, if you put into a calculator, uh, you will find out that your graph would look something like this, okay? So your graph would look something like this, and you will find out the minimum it's going to be uh, your minimum. It's a 330. So the cost is $330 when your H, your height is three. Okay. So, uh, so let me write it down. Okay. The, that means the uh, total cost. Okay. Is the lowest. Okay. Uh, which is uh, $330 uh, when your height is uh, when the height of the box is uh, three uh, meters okay so once we have the height we can figure out other things such as our length because we knew earlier that length is uh, 9 over h so by substituting the 3 into the h so we have 9 over 3 which is three meters as well. So that means our box will, uh, the dimension of our box would be uh, three times four, which is the uh, length times width, times our height, which is three. Okay, they're all in uh, meters, sorry. So this will be the dimension of uh, the um, the dimension of the uh, of the open top box okay so again the key thing about this question is that you are not finding the minimum area or the finding the minimum volume you're finding the minimum cost so before you think of anything else you need to make very clear that you understand how to calculate cost which is the uh, the uh, the unit price times the total area now if you say you have trouble coming up with uh, if you have trouble coming up with this equation then what I would tell you is this uh, think of another example. For example, um, let's say you're going to a supermarket and you are going to buy some apples. And you know that one apple, it's, uh, let's just say, 70 cents. So, um, so then the cost of your purchase depends on how many apples you buy. So if you buy five apples, then you have 70 cents times five apples, which will give you $3.50. So it's the same idea. And let's say you want to buy oranges as well, and the orange price is 50 cents uh, per orange. So let's say you want to buy 10 oranges, then you will multiply the 50 cents by 10 and you and which will give you $5. So if you want to find a total cost of the total purchase of the apple and the oranges, then you will add them up together. Now you probably understand the concept. It's just that when it's being presented in a very different way, you are not feeling comfortable and which is 
understandable it says that you will need to get comfortable with concepts like this trying to connect your algebra skill with the uh, realistic examples like this one uh, and then you will have a very easy time to uh, to handle optimization problem